In this video, I'm going to discuss the delete greatest value in each row problem, which occurred in today's lead code contest. It states that you are given a two-dimensional array. Okay. And for that array, you have to delete the greatest elements of each row and then find out the maximum among all the rows that you have deleted and add it to the answer. Like, for example, the maximum of this row and is 4 and this row is 3. Okay, so we delete 4 and 3. What is maximum among 4 and 3? 4. So we add answer is equal to 0. So we add 4 to the answer. Now again, do the same thing. 3, uh, 1 and 2, 2 is greater. 3 and 1, 3 is greater. So what is greater 2 or 3? 3 is greater. So 4 plus 3, 7. 1 and 1. Uh, so uh, over here, uh, 1 is the greatest. And over in this row, 1 is the greatest. So what is greater? 1 or 1? 1. 1 is greater. So 8. So the answer is 8. For 10, there is only one row, so 10 is greater. So 10 is the answer. Okay. The code first answer is equals to 0, initialize it. Then run a loop from 0 k equals to 0 to grid uh, 0 dot length. That is the number of columns. Okay. Columns. Then let max max is equals to 0. That is the maximum of the maximum. Okay, this uh, for this case where 3 and 4 was there, we wrote 4, for 2 and 3, we wrote 3. So that thing is max max. Okay. So for i is equals to 0 to grid length, position is equals to minus 1, max is equals to 0. That is, we are going to find out the position where the uh, element is the maximum in that row. Okay. So for run a loop from j is equal to 0 to j less than grid dot uh, read 0 dot length. So this was row. And this is again the column. Okay. So if grid i dot j is greater than max, then max equals to grid i j and position is equals to j. That is the position of the maximum element is now present in j. i of j. Okay. So once we are done with these grid i uh, position, that is the maximum element, that becomes minus 1 because we are basically deleting it. So in, in case you are using any language like uh, basic language like C, you can't use uh, those delete functions. So you can basically write it as minus one. Okay. So if max max is lesser than max, that is the, the value of max is now greater than max max, then max max is equals to max. And then at the end, you have to add max max to the answer. That is answer plus equals to max max and then return answer. It is simply this thing. Okay. So let's go, go over the dry run for this one, two, four, three, three, one. So k is equals to 0 to grid dot length. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. So k will be done three times. And i is equals to 0 to grid dot length. That is 2. i is equals to 0, comma 1. Okay, first there will be 0 and then will be and j is equals to 0, 1, 2. Okay. So for every element, uh, position is minus 1 and uh, max is 0 so 1 is greater than 0 here so position becomes now 0 the position of this and max becomes 1 2 is greater than 1 yeah that's greater than 1 so max now becomes 2 and position becomes 1 4 is greater than 2 yes it is greater than 2 so it becomes 4 and this becomes 2 okay so now once we are done with this what we are going to do we have to make grid i of position that is grid 0 comma 2 is equals to minus 1 so we overwrite it as minus 1 that is deleting the maximum element and then we have to check if max max is lesser than max okay so what is max 4 and what was max max we initialize it as 0 4 is greater than 0 yeah that's greater than 0 so we will overwrite this as 4 then if again for this 3 position is equals to 0 max is equals to 0 uh, position equals to minus one. I'm sorry, minus one and max is equals to zero. This would be minus. Uh, oh, this will be zero. Position this will be minus one. Okay. So before zero, that will be minus one. Okay. So minus one, max equals to zero. So three, three is greater than zero. Yeah, we overwrite this three and zero. Three is greater than three. No, it's not greater than three. One is greater than three. No, it's not. So zero. So we will delete this element and write minus one. So now once we are done with this, we have to check. Where the max max that is 4 is greater than 3 or not. No, it's not greater than 3. So that becomes 4. And answer was 0. So we add 4 to the answer. Similarly, we do it 3 times. That is, next time we are going to delete this and this. And then this and this. Okay. So this is the basic code for this. I hope this was clear. Thank you.